Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 15 of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about today's farm. Uh, yeah, T today I'm, I don't know, I'm always tired, but I, I spent three hours at the, in, at the gym just doing bench, squats, and a lot of accessories, and finally doing stretching and, and all these other things. And then I ran four miles, so I, I don't know, I'm just always tired. But uh, let's take a look at today's farm, 502 IPL. Ah, suppose Lead Global will start his IPO soon. In order to sell a good prize of his shares to venture capital, Lead Global would like to work on some projects to increase his capital before IPO. Since it has limited resources, it can only finish at most K distinct projects before the IPO. Help Lead Co design the best way to maximize his cap total capital finishing at most K distinct projects. <coughs> Uh, I don't know, I like to talk a little funny. This one is a ridiculous one. Uh, I don't remember it, though. I'm just saying the, the, the premise. But, uh, yeah, you're given N projects where the I project has a pure profit profit sub I, and a minimum capital of capital sub I is needed to start it. Initially, you have W capital. When you finish a project, you will obtain this pure profit, and the profit will be added to your total capital. Pick a list of at most K distinct projects from the given projects to maximize your final capital. We turn to ma final maximized capital. Okay. So, okay, let me see. So, you have W capital. You have K projects before the IPO. Uh, and a minimum of capital to start it. Okay. So, profit is just for your profit. Okay. I mean, I think this is... Um, I mean, I know we've been doing sorting a lot, but to me, it feels like... Uh, I think the thing is that, uh, I guess this is the same thing about yesterday's problem too, is that you can do this with heap. Um, I know that you don't need to do this with heap, and the reason is because capital, you, if you, after you sort it, it's going to be monotonically increasing, uh, and because it's monotonically increasing, in a way... Um, you will always process them in the right order, right? So, so in that way, it it um, you know, you could still use a heap type solution, but it's not necessary. And I think one of these things is that sometimes uh, uh, I might look at this problem. Some days I might do it with sorting, and some days I might do it with a heap. And of course, heap isn't uh, necessary, not including sorting, but you know, it's just a way to because um, as I was. As I always mention, right, sorting uh, creates a structure that allows you to be greedy, usually. I mean, sometimes it allows you to do other things, but uh, on, on more basic problems, right? And heap also, heap doesn't give you that structure, but heap answers the question in a greedy way, which is that at any given point in time, if I want to, like, what is the either cheapest or low or whatever, right, that you can do it. And of course, here, if you... Um, it is. It feels to me more intuitive to do it in a heap way because then now you can add additional constraints. You could have um, criteria to enter the heap, etc. This one, this particular problem is a more simple problem in terms of the rules, so you don't need it. But for example, you could say, um, you know, always give me the one with the lowest capital requirement, and that makes sense, right? Because if you always get the one with the lowest, lowest capital requirement, um, you will always maximize your current capital. Um, but of course, when you realize that you want to repeat it, do it that, that's why you, that's how you get the sorted solution is because you can realize that you just sorted by capital, right? Hi, I drink a lot of water these days. I, I, I'm always doing these after my exercises and I need to keep myself hydrated. Mm. So yeah, uh, that's basically the idea. Unless capital is already sorted, hmm. I don't think so. But the two examples that I give you uh, has the case. Oh, 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 I miss. Sorry, sorry. I, I think I, I messed up. Um, because I forgot about the K distinct project part. So then now maybe you need to heap. Um, maybe that's I got you know into, inceptioned into it. Because then now,
Yeah, now you want the heap. Because you want to keep only k distinct part. I mean, it'll be a second heap, I think. So it won't be the same heap. What I would do is I'll sort this, and then I'll have a second heap so that we can remove things as necessary. But that's still, I mean, now it becomes a more tricky problem. I missed the k point. Oh, I, I think I just got a little confused. It's easy to be confused for me anyway. So yeah. So then now, oops. What we want to do is, um, let's say we zip profits and capital, and then we want to sort this um, by. We want to sort by capital first, so that's x of one, and then we want maximum profit in the front, so something like this, right? So then now we could maybe call this T for tuples. I don't know. Terrible names. I mean, I guess you could also just do like for P. C and something like this, right? I miss up close friends I did. Hmm. Why is that weird? Um Yeah, and then now we need the the total. This is like the total uh maybe hmm well here we want the current. This is the current capital, so actually we start with W, right? And then maybe we have a best is equal to the best capital. We also best is going to be W just because you know we always start with that. And then now we have a heap, and the function of this heap is to um, what do we want to do? We want to Yeah, yeah, we want to, um, hmm, I'm, I'm having some doubts to be honest, that's why I'm like thinking real quick. Uh, but yeah, here, in theory, you would just have, um, a heap for removing the least profitable projects. But I think there is some new ones here. With respect to path independence, I'm not sure that you can just do that. For example, if you have a thing where like, um, I don't know, k is you go to 3, um, maybe the profits or the capitals are like 0, zero, zero uh, I don't know, 3, and then you have like one, one, two, and then 10 or something, right? Here, you, you know, it, now that you... Uh, you take the first, or uh, k is equal to 2, you take the first 2, but that doesn't mean that you get to um, pick this one because you just never have money to pick this one uh, after removing it, right? So that's a little bit, so I don't think, hmm. So you can't just like put in the 10 and then we move the 2, or we move the 1 in this case, right? Uh, and I know that you can do some math about like checking it before, but I'm not 100% sure, uh, I'm not 100% convinced that the proof works. I mean, it might, but I'm not convinced yet. I've def I'm thinking about that. Um, hmm. Because here, the optimal can only be 3. Well, let's say you start with 0. I didn't put it down. Um, but... I guess the other way is a little bit better. Maybe you do need a heap. Can I sort this? No, I, I don't know. I, maybe I'm wrong on, on the sorting. Because I think maybe you can do it with a heap. Right? The idea here is that...
that basically, okay. So let's say you have this thing sorted, right? So then now this is going to be a queue. And uh, why not? Let's just do make it a proper queue, right? And then now we can do something like while length of queue is greater than zero, right? And then I don't know if that's true, but or I don't know if that's the final condition. But then now we use the heap differently, right? This is queue of things we can that we cannot consider, but maybe in the future, right? And then now for the heap, we can do something like, and this is the um, the set of projects we can currently do. Um, and we want to, it, it's a max heap, right? Because we want the max, the most profitable project on top. So then while length is equal to Q, um, you know, and the 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 first of the queue, the profit part, which is the zero, right, um, is greater than or equal to W or current side. Then here we do we pop. We have P and the C, the uh, profits and the capital, and then we put it inside the heap. Um, and oh, the, we don't care about the capital because we know that the ca oh uh, I, I messed this up. This should be the capital requirement. So this is this index, right? So oh no, and this is uh, why am I so bad? If our current capital is greater than the capital requirement, then we could pop. We don't care about the key, C, but we care about the P. Um, and here we uh, we want a max heap, which we can cheat in Python with negative P because. In Python, the heap is a min heap, so we just do negative p for that reason, right? And then this this happens. Uh, so we have a while true. We'll probably have to change this, but for now, right? So here we go. Okay, we let's uh, figure. Out, let's um, take a look. Um, how do I say it? Basically, what we want to do is we want to put put inside in uh, put into consideration all the things that we can heap, right? Or uh, that we can uh, currently accomplish, right? So then now here, and then now we take an object. Oh, I guess here is not about true, is while in uh, range of K, right? But, oh, while, what am I doing? But basically it runs this K times. So then first it takes all the consideration, all the items that we can do. And uh, and also because this is monotonically increasing, we don't actually need a best. We can return current at the very end, right? There's no negative profits uh, that we have to do or something. Because yeah, um, so then we we do all these things, and then now we take the best, right? So um, I'm just double checking whether we have to. Okay, so if the length of the heap is equal to zero, then we break because that means that we ran out of objects and we can't afford anything. Uh, otherwise, we just do a pop of heap. So this is P, right? The next one. And then we current, we add it to P as the project that we consider. Um, I'm a little bit kind of sloppy, but I think this is right. But uh, yeah, I don't know why today I'm just a little bit off. Um, Pair I did last year. This is from five years ago, more than five years ago. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. But uh, yeah, this is kind of a tricky one. I don't know. Is, did I do it any other way? I'm curious. Do, 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 do. Eh, apparently, last year I did it about the same way. <laughs> and five years ago, I also did it the same way. So I guess that is the way to do it. But uh, yeah. Uh, what is the complexity here, right? There's sorting, so that's already n log n. Um, this is k. Uh, this is at most o of n. This is uh, this loop is at most n, so this is going to be n log n into the heap, um, but in total for each item, right? So so this this is independent of this because this can only be pop n times. Uh, and then k, but k also has a log n factor, so this is going to be n log n plus k log n. Um, yeah, 
And then for space, it's obviously just linear for this and this. So yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. I think, um, yeah, I think the uh, critical part about this one is just figure out how to be greedy in the right way. And it's very easy to mess up. Uh, as I as you saw, I almost kind of misread this into a wrong solution of sorting. Um, but And there is sorting, of course, as you can see, but that wasn't the, the, uh, yeah, the way to do it. Um, yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good, stay healthy to go mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.